this is just a tutorial on entering safe mode it's an alternative way of doing it a lot of people don't like pressing f8 key at the startup and they don't miss they don't do it in time etc etc this is an alternative way of doing things okay now let's get to it i'm running windows 8 but You'll, you can do this on any operating system. The menu is pretty much sim pretty well. It's exactly the same. Microsoft have kept the same menu for MS Config. Um, right. Okay. So say you was on Windows Seven, you click the Start menu and you go on to Run. On Windows Eight, I right click the Start menu and it brings up this, and I can click Run here. Now in here, you can see I've already typed it. But I'll type it again. It's msconfig, all one word. Okay. Right now, here it brings up your system configuration. I wouldn't mess with half of this. I mean, there's a lot of information that can help you. I'm on Windows 8, but um, like you can change your startup programs on Windows 8's Task Manager, but on Windows 7, all the programs that you use to start, which start up as default with Windows, will be here. But that's not part of this tutorial. I'm digressing. Right, this is it. This is where we are. Right, you want to click the boot section, okay? That tells you your OS and boot options, okay? So, safe boot. And there's your minimal, but if you wanted to safe mode with networking, you'd click safe boot and then click networking. But your standard safe mode, you click that minimal and then you click OK. And then it'll ask you, you may need to restate your computer to apply changes before starting. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, do not click, don't show this message again. It's just quite handy to have this menu here. Now, what I would like to say. This isn't a one-off thing. What we have done here is we have told your computer to start up in safe mode every time. So safe mode is your computer's default boot option. Okay. Now, once you've done what you've done, you've clicked restart, your computer's rebooted, and you're in safe mode, you'll have to go back to run, type msconfig, and then change it. So what you'd do is you'd go back into your, the MS config settings, go back to boot, and all you have to do is untick, uncheck the safe boot option. It's simple as that. Okay, guys, I hope this helps you out. Like and subscribe.